Good morning, Ayadeji. Interesting times we're seeing in the market. The market opened the week yesterday in the red. Yeah, good morning, and thanks for having me. All right, uh, get, I'd like to get your thoughts on the, your, the performance of the market. Uh, we saw the market open on, in the red yesterday. Yes, uh, so what we've seen in the last few days is we've seen a lot of investors uh, adopt a wait-and-see approach. If you recall, last week, the CBN issued a circular on it on uh, on the issue of a special bill, which may change the dynamics of the fixed, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, of the fixed income market. So we've seen for most of the investors that have been fixed, uh, focused on the equities market, some are trying to be sure of the direction of the fixed income market because there's always that relationship. If we begin to see that attractive yield, we may begin to see a sell down. In addition to the decline that we have been seeing in the market, can also be attributed to the increased sale of FX to the foreign investors. So we've seen some foreign investors also trying to pull out their funds based on the sub, uh, improved supply they have, they have been um, they, they have been receiving from the CBN. So by and large, um, that doesn't take away from the strong fundamentals of the market. Despite a, a COVID year, we've seen most of the results have been largely positive. So we believe that there, it presents very interesting opportunities for potential investors. All right, interesting wait and see approach. We'll see until we get clarity on those uh, special bills. Uh, definitely uh, interesting times in the market. But what do you anticipate the impact of these special bills could be um, in, in, the, in the near term? Okay, uh, speaking to the fixed uh, income market, so what would, would we, we have, we've been seeing and would see is that for some of the traders that are still in the money and trying to maximize the market uh, opportunities, for most of them would begin to sell. For, and also for the buyers, they are also very cautious. So we've seen activities have been very slow. We're hoping it's still a guess a scenario that if the CBN issued the special HOMO at a very, uh, very attractive rate, that would really change the dynamics and we may begin to see it tilting upwards. But for, for there are also views that CBN may also want to issue these bills in line with current rates in the market. So it's, it's still, we're all, all still trying to see, get that clear direction before we begin to see ma any major impact or any major move. So uh, before that, uh, before that would, what we would see is investors playing very cautious. Nobody wants to hold a position that may go against them when we, when we see the CBN begin to issue the special homos or special bills, rather. All right, and moving on to the equity space, though, what's your, what do you think is the playbook for 2021, looking at how the market has uh, panned out uh, this year so far, up about 30.9% year to date? Okay, very interesting. If we, based on what we are looking at currently, is we feel that in 2021, some of the sectors still has potential for upside. And if fixed income rates remain very low, we'll still see that major push in the equities market. So uh, briefly looking at some of these major sectors that we expect to drive activities, the FMCG sector, uh, because they have been able to, they have that leeway to pass the cost to consumers. We've seen price increases across most of the F FMCG except for the beauty sector that the competition is very steep. We we'll believe that they would also um, be able to churn out very positive results. The policy of the, the federal government will also support them to ensure that, that most, of the, most, of business, most of the business activities or raw materials are sourced internally, and that will be a major boost. The industrial sector will continue to see that improvement within that space and with the new policy of trying to use uh, cement for construction of road, that would also be a major boost for the industrial goods. Telecoms, we know that the 
economy structure has changed in terms of working from home. So we'll see that that flexibility will increase the usage of data and would also increase the usage of phone calls to execute transactions. So we believe that those three sectors, uh, in addition, I would like to put the uh, agri sector within that space, would uh, there are sectors to watch out for in 2021, despite the impressive gains they've recorded in 2020. We're looking at the banking sector, we believe that it's really going to be a challenging year for the banks. Mm -hmm. Interest rate environment is really very low and the yield uh, structure that boost, boosted their their position in 2020, uh, would, would, they won't be able to take advantage of that. Now yields are already low. So any upside, we're all expecting that yields have reached almost a rock bottom and it's to go, uh, we expect it to go upside. So that is going to be a major challenge and where they may get their income more is lending, which will feel that the risk is still very elevated and they would continue to take that very cautious approach to lending to the real sector. So it's really going to be a, a challenging here for the banking sector, uh, which controls over 50% of liquidity and activity in our market. So in, in summary, it's, it's going to be a scenario based, depending on what happened in the fixed income market, uh, that would also have a major overall impact on the equities markets.